So Jessica, look in the camera up here. Say hello to everyone in the internet land. Jessica, say hello. You shy? So this is my daughter Jessica, and we're going to do an unboxing video because we've been sent this from my parents in the UK. So I'm going to cut it open, and Jessica's going to help me look at what's inside. Now, first of all, what do you want to take out, Jessica? Yes. This. this clothes. This clothes. Mm -hmm. I think that's for Edward, isn't it? Yes. So, a uh, polo this, shirt for Edward. This polo shirt is very smart. It's <laughs> a very smart polo yes. shirt for Edward. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got a DVD. It says the Spiderwick Chronicles. I have no idea what that's going to be like. Um, that I I never seen this film. No. Mm, this that's film. a kids film we're going to watch. And another DVD. Mm. The Indian in the cupboard. Oh, oh, I know this. Oh, hopefully this will work. On my DVD player, I might need to um. So my, my DVD player is is both PAL and hey. NTSC. Is this this tall? Oh, th this should be okay. It says Region 2. Um, region 2 is the UK this? and Japan. Who's this? Hmm? Who's this? Someone in the story, Jessica. Let's watch this with Edward, okay? Yeah. Who's you? <laughs> yeah, I can watch it too. And there is a book, which is a very, very abridged version of Around the World in 80 Days. Is this Elephant? Jules Verne. Elephant. Yeah. Shall I read this book to you? But this is not my book. Well, it's fair. Edward can read it by himself, but I can read it to you as well. Oh. Yeah. Is it going to share it with me? Yeah, he's going to share it with you. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. Because sharing is caring. That's why we should all use BitTorrent and share. In England, you can't use BitTorrent really um, oh. unless you use a proxy. Now, some books. What book's this? Who's this book? Ah, uh, Johnny Briggs and the Ghost. <clears throat> um, Johnny Briggs is a television series that I watched as a child, a British television series, very, very, very good, um, about a boy called Johnny Briggs and his life with his um, so two good? brothers and sister who were much older than him. Um, and his parents, and uh, a lot of it was about him at school. And um, yeah, this is one of the books that the BBC made from the TV series. I think the TV series was first. Now, here's another book. What's this? <gasps> Who is this book? Mm -hmm. Who's it for? This is for me. Yeah. We do things differently. Um, generally, I hate books that are optimistic, <laughs> um, but I've heard this guy. <clears throat> Mark Stevenson being interviewed and uh, yeah, smart guy knows what he's talking about. Um, this book is based on interviews where he um, went to find people around the world who are having success in different domains, doing things very differently to the norm. So one example he found was some a, a, a doctor in India who crowdsourced um, the research for finding a medicine for <clears throat> um, drug-resistant tuberculosis. So in India, um, tuberculosis is a big problem and a lot of the strains of TB there are drug-resistant and it costs, generally it costs at the moment about $2.6 billion to develop a new medicine. <laughs> And almost all that money is waste, basically. So he made a very kind of lean way of doing it. Um, he crowdsourced the computer modeling of uh, tuberculosis bacterium and then crowdsourced the annotation of it. That is? Yep. How many stories is inside this book? How many stories in this well, it's not really, I think it's, it's mainly interviews, Jessica, so it's like lots of stories, different people. So if we open it up, um, 
it's got 13 chapters so yep yeah, 13 examples of people who are doing things differently so i'm really looking forward to reading that book and the last book what's this jessica can you turn it around for the camera so the people in the internet land can see it it is called stand up johnny briggs and it's another Johnny Briggs book. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to reading these with my son. Wait, I know um, this. You've never seen this, have you? Yes. Yeah, but we can see it on YouTube or some oh. little bits of Johnny Briggs. Um, I think Johnny Briggs may be on DVD as well. Um, so no. should be. Um, the BBC are quite limited about what they can release on DVD. Um, they're limited for kind of competition rules is one thing that um, it would be anti-competitive in theory if the BBC um, released all these programs that had used um, taxpayers money to make um, and also a lot of uh, BBC stuff can't be released on DVD for rights reasons because the license they have for music allows them to use music um, in a live broadcast but not uh, on DVD or whatever. So um, yeah those are some of the things that my parents have sent me from the UK and uh, yeah I'll probably do um, or I'll definitely do a book review of this in the near future. Um, my cancer fundraising website is at www.matthewdons.org. Please donate if you possibly can, and if you can't donate, please share that link. Um, it's www.m-a-t-t-h-e-w-d-o-n-s. Just go and put this in your mouth. You want to say something to the internet people? Yeah. What are you going to say? You want to say goodbye? No. <laughs> what are you going to say? You want to tell them about Minecraft? So Jessica played Minecraft for the first time a few days ago. This is the um, this is Pi Minecraft. So that's the version of Minecraft that comes free with the Raspberry Pi, and is um, slightly different from the regular version. So it's an educational version. Um, I don't know why she's whispering. You guys. Mm -hmm. So Jessica wants to say that we we made houses in Minecraft together with beds in. Made a house for me and a house for Jessica. Okay, Jessica, you can say something. And mum is. And a house for mummy as well. Um, is it mummy? Mummy is bad, and they it is bad. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Okay, Jessica, it's time to say goodbye. So please donate if you can, um, because that will give me more time with Jessica, basically. Um, I'm in a race against time, really. Um, if if I can uh, afford some more treatment, I might get to live a little bit longer, and um, that may make more treatments available for me. Um, there's a, a new class of treat, cancer treatments coming out at the moment called checkpoint inhibitors. Um, they are very um, they're very promising, although they only work for a small number of people. Um, but in the near future, there will be more like a wider range of checkpoint inhibitors that will, that will work for a wider range of people. But also there'll be genetic testing, so they'll know if it's going to work or not. So they'll do. Um, uh, what's, uh, what's it called? NGS, Next Generation Screening, or in, something like that. Um, so they'll do genetic testing and then um, find one of them that's going to work for you. Um, so, yeah, that's www.matthewdons.org. Please donate if you can, and if you can't donate, please share the link. Matthewdons.org makes a big difference. Thanks a lot. Okay, goodbye, Jessica. Quickly say goodbye. Look in the camera up here. Goodbye. Can you say goodbye? Good.
ഇപ്പൊ അറസ്റ്റ്